Uh, you know, we've been working the past couple of days. I have my booth. I've been doing free private lessons for everybody that comes by, getting people into the group to learn kind of how what I'm doing with the group and my plans for it in the community in general. So what I'm doing today will be my first chance to show a lot of these people my game and some of the techniques I'm known for, my lasso game. I'll be showing a lot of stuff that I haven't shown outside of like the team and anywhere I do a seminar. So it should be really fun. I'm looking forward to it. Be something that's going to help you in your lasso guard from the very beginning without even learning a sweep yet. Okay? Getting to lasso and having a proper lasso is one of the biggest things I see people that get their lasso guard passed is one of the biggest things that they're, they're uh, messing up on, okay? So usually you see people get lasso, they're here, throw the leg in, or they're just a little bit tight in their hands on the inside. This makes it like tug of war. So if he pulls my sleeve, it's gonna wear my grip out because we're pulling back and forth the entire time. My grip's not gonna be able to last for a whole match, and especially not multiple matches. So the way I like to get my lasso guard, if you've seen any of my matches, I can hold my lasso grip for the entire 10 minutes and I'm gonna be strong there. Some of it, of course, is conditioning and working my grips, but a lot of it is just how I hold my grip. So when I'm playing lasso, I want my arm bent and I want my opponent's arm extended. So I'm gonna pull in. I don't even care if he has the collar, it's fine. I'm gonna keep my arm bent because his arm, a straight arm is a weaker arm, a bent arm is a stronger arm, okay? So if he pulls back from here, it's not as strong. If he's here and pulled back, it's stronger. So I'm gonna be in, and I'm gonna scoop my hips out. Now when I go to my lasso, I'm coming around, I want the inside of my foot catching right behind the shoulder, and my shin is gonna go into his arm. Right here, this is already putting a lot of tension on his arm, and what I'm gonna do is put my knuckles on top of my thigh as much as I can. So I'm gonna punch myself in the thigh. What this does is it stops the circle out, so when he goes to circle his hand, it's very hard to do. And when he goes to snatch away, it's very hard. And it's not weighing on my grip at all. If I'm out here, this is gonna work on my grip and make my arm tired. When I'm inside and punching into my thigh, it makes my grip a lot stronger. So when he goes to pull, it's a lot harder. A lot of people have issues when they go here and someone just stands straight up and lifts. If I'm here, this is not gonna be good. If I'm pulling my knuckles into the side, when he goes to lift, it's already harder on him. He's gonna have to lift my whole body up. So I'm locking myself into my thigh here. This is gonna help your lasso guard a lot. The second thing with your grip, so your grips don't die, I'm not always squeezing and pulling. I lock in, if he's not pulling his arm, I don't need to pull his sleeve. I'm in place. So right here, I'm not pulling. If he starts to pull, then I can pull. If he's relaxing, I don't have a reason to just be pulling the whole time. I'm gonna burn my own grips out without needing it yet. So I'm locked in, my arm's loose, if he pulls, I tighten up. When he comes down, I'm in place, but I don't have to be pulling all the time, okay? So this is just how we're gonna start getting to our lasso, and I want you guys to work your free hand. It can go anywhere you want. Collar, same side collar, sleeve, pant, pant, and if you like getting fancy, you can grab the belt and work inside here. So we're just gonna spend five minutes just getting to a proper lasso, and that's gonna help us when we start adding in all our other techniques, okay? Does anyone have any questions on that? I know it's loud in here, so if you couldn't hear something before, just raise your hand, I'll come by and make sure you got it. Everyone good? I just gonna break. So the Lasso Syndicate is a global community where I'm dedicating it to helping people improve their game, specifically their guard, and giving my insight on how I feel they should improve on certain things and giving them just a little bit of how I prepare for tournaments and how I improve my guard. So what we do is I do match footage and I go over my matches and I, I break it down, like the mental side, what I'm thinking, strategy, how I was feeling body-wise and things like that. And then I let people send their match footage and their training footage in. So say they lost the match, I help them not get their guard pass, I give them techniques, advice, and we just kind of uh, have a community dedicated to that. You know, I help people as many ways I can in jujitsu, anything they ask, no, nothing's off limits. Man, some people ask me life questions. Uh, body health questions everything I just answer everything and just give my as much help as I can There's some bad positions in my lasso and then I'll sweep I love sweeping from when my opponent's doing the right thing So you'll have a lot of people that do incorrect technique and they mess up and you can win like that I like to do stuff where I'm scoring when my opponent's doing everything right They did everything they're supposed to do and then I'm still going to score and be able to dominate okay, so you probably seen me in this position a few times. I was here in the finals of Worlds, I was in this position, 
even last uh, at the last pan, where I'm here and a guy squishes my legs down. The worst thing you could do here is let go. You feel like you need to let go of the frame to keep him away, that's bad. I'm gonna keep this lasso, I'm gonna keep my knuckles on my thighs like I'm supposed to. This sweep, the more pressure they put on you, the better the sweep is, okay? When I'm in this position, my lasso leg's doing very little. It's just here. It's my bottom leg that's very important. So if he's grabbing my bottom leg, I have to free that. The bottom leg is important. The top leg, he can hold it all he wants. If I can get my bottom leg out, toes into the mat, what I'm gonna do is go from one side to the other. My lasso leg is just gonna kick. So everything rotates from one side to the other. Scoot my butt out, one side to the other. The more pressure he puts down, the more he's gonna flip. I'm not sweeping him with any force. I do this with ultra heavyweights. It's all about moving his weight off of me into the mat. His body has to follow. So I'm in. He's putting weight. Make sure my bottom leg can come out. I'm gonna use this and I can use my elbow to pull myself to the other side. If the elbow's open, I'm gonna pull this as well. That's extending his body, it makes him easier to flip. If he's in the ball, it's a little bit harder to flip him. If he's extended, his body's flattened out more, I can flip him way easier, okay? Pull, foot down, I can use my elbow to help. One side, two down. All my leg is doing from lasso is extending and turning. If he only puts a little bit of pressure down, maybe his knees are down, he's only gonna flip a little bit. If he's standing up, tripod on my legs, he's gonna fly. It's all about his weight, okay? Now, you see me do this sweep a lot from standing, but it's the same concept. I like showing it from the ground because fundamentally you'll understand it better from the ground. When I'm standing and I do this sweep, it's the same concept. I'm not trying to use force to pull him over the top. I'm gonna put my leg in, put my foot out, and go from one side to the other. The difference is, when he's standing, he's not putting weight on me. So what this foot is doing, is pulling his weight to me. Weight comes in, foot out, one side to the other. Now, hitting that sweep is a lot easier than finishing that sweep, okay? It's so much momentum, he could just rotate through. So come, come down. If I'm lazy here, I don't know what to do, he's just gonna roll through and reset the position. So I have to have control. One of the hardest things to do from lasso is to finish your sweep because you're putting your leg, if I sweep him, he has a single leg. So if I switch the position, he has a single leg grip. So coming out of your lasso is just as important as hitting the sweep. So when I hit the sweep, I'm looking for the elbow. I sweep, Looking for the elbow. That way, if he comes into me, I can stop him. If he tries to turn away, he's gonna put himself in the omoplata or armor, okay? So when I'm here, keep the sleeve. Control the elbow with your hand or your leg. Either way is fine. I can come up, shoulder pressure, get heavy. Or I can use my leg, and when I throw both my feet over at the same time, he's already in the armbar. So either way, we can come up like that. Either control, come up top, or use my leg, feet stay together, over, look still. So when you hit the sweep fast, you have to be thinking about your finish, okay? Sorry my voice is loud, it's loud in here. So I'm in, he's putting pressure down. I'm already, once he's here, I know I'm going to sweep. The only way you get to finish sweep is by stepping his leg up. If he steps his leg up, I can't move him, but I have another sweep for that, okay? So if his legs are down, I know I have the sweep. So I'm already thinking about the control and the finish. I'm out, control the elbow. Yeah. Arm bar, or control, shoulder pressure. If you have somebody that's really explosive, you need to fight their way up. Or rock the floor. Okay. I'm a guard guy for the most part, so a lot of times I don't have to come up. 
if I don't want to come up and I want to work my guard, I'm going to sweep and I want him to defend the sweep so I can finish attacking the arm. So I'll come here, I'll let him roll through. It's my choice. Kimura, armbar, that's it. So a lot of times I hit the sweep, I don't want to finish. I just want to get that second reaction going. If I need the points, I'm going to finish the sweep, okay? So if you hit the sweep and they roll through, you're still okay. Just attack the arm. Any questions on this? Yes. Yes, sir. I don't need my second hand for the sweep. The second hand is just extra. If he's holding this on my sleeve, it's just extra. So when I go to pull this elbow, it's just adding. It's not needed, but it's adding. And when people start to step up, this is where this becomes important. Because I'm not going to hit here. I'm now going to go under. Hit here. So now I can come up to the back. Or I'm going to grab the sleeve. And push over. Stand up. Or do the step up, I mean. So if he's defending, that's when this becomes important. Because now I need to push this over. Come up to the back. Or bring him back to the other side. But we'll work on that in a second, okay? I want you guys to get the initial motion, then we'll go over the, the defenses, okay? Everyone good? Right. Yes, yes. Is there any blood if he's holding your collar? No. If he's holding my collar, it's gonna help me because this is ex extending him out. Anything that extends him is gonna help me. This, if he's holding the collar tight, get it tight, go higher. If he's up high, when I do this motion, his arm's extending him. So it's helping. Doesn't matter, because it's giving me the elbow. Even if he's really tight, if he doesn't block this leg, this sweep's gonna be there. He has to block this leg. So if he's holding, now it's an issue. Now I need to free. Now I can go. But if he's not touching his bottom leg, I don't care, he can have here, break, oh. He can have this hand. Here, doesn't matter, I'm gonna hit up. Shrimp up, okay? Yes. I'm here. Up on the thigh. He can't, I can't break it, but it's not stopping my leg motion. I only break the bottom grip because it's stopping my leg motion. If he's grabbing up high, it's not really doing anything for him. If you feel like your bottom leg can't come out, adjust the grip. If it's not affecting your bottom leg, the sweep is there, okay? Just focus on getting that elbow when you finish. Everyone good? All right, let's go. You're great. Right. 